Good morning students this is your SST period so far we have learned how people actively participated in the non cooperation movement humne ye bhi dekha tha ki non cooperation movement kaun si hai however it came to an end in 1922 let us find out what caused the end of non cooperation movement and what happened after that so watch the video carefully so it is uh, these are the events that look uh, took place between 1922 and 1930 so watch it carefully we will come to know the contribution of some leaders to the freedom struggle important events between 1922 and 1930 Note down these events in your rough notebook or uh, in your fair notebook. In the last class, we learned about these three important events: the roll at Satyagraha, the Khilafat agitation, and the non-cooperation movement. Now, we will learn about the important events that took place between 1922 and 1930. Let us learn about each of these events and see how they impacted India's freedom struggle. We will begin with the Chauri Chaura incident of 1922. A group of peasants set fire to a police station in Chauri Chaura because they were angered when the police fired at their peaceful. सबसे पहले जो इंसिडेंट हुआ था वो हुआ था 1922 में और उसका जो नेम था वो था Chauri Chaura incident. तो ये कब हुआ था जब पीजेंट्स ने फायर लगा दी थी पुलिस स्टेशन में आग लगा दी थी बिकॉज वो बहुत ज़्यादा गुस्से में थे ओके फुल डेमोस्ट्रेशन गांधी जी कॉल्ड ऑफ द नॉन कोऑपरेशन मूवमेंट बिकॉज ऑफ दिस इंसिडेंट After this event, there were two main ideas about what nationalist leaders should do next. अब ये चौरी चारा incident जब हुआ था उसके बाद कुछ steps जो थे लिए गए थे after 1922 तो देखते हैं वो कौन से steps थे In the aftermath of the चौरी चारा incident, Gandhi ji's followers insisted that nationalists undertake constructive work in villages of India. These efforts created a strong base of supporters in the villages. and that helped in launching the civil disobedience movement while gandhi ji's followers encouraged people to take up constructive work in villages two individuals named motilal nehru and chitranjan das had another idea they believed it would be better if the indian national congress contested elections and gained important decision making positions in the legislative councils to influence government policies In addition to Motilal Nehru and Chittaranjan Das, the period between 1922 and 1930 also saw several nationalists come forth and fight for freedom in their own way. Let us learn more about them. Motilal Nehru was a lawyer settled in Delhi. He was the co-founder of the Swaraj or Self Rule Party and a prominent leader of the Indian independence movement. He was the father of Jam आपको इनके बारे में पता होना चाहिए इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट्स आप इनके बारे में लिख लो जवाहरलाल नेहरू चित्तरंजन दास वॉज अ लॉयर फ्रॉम ईस्ट बंगाल ही वॉज अगेंस्ट द ब्रिटिश रूल एंड बिलीव इन द इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट ऑफ इंडिया बाई पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन द डिसीजन मेकिंग प्रोसेस ही बिकेम द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ द इंडियन नेशनल कांग्रेस इन नाइनटीन नेक्स्ट वॉज चंद्रशेखर आजाद He was an Indian revolutionary who believed in radical methods to gain freedom. He joined the HRA or the Hindustan Republican Socialist Association. He was associated with many incidents like the Kakori train robbery of 1925 and the killing of a British police officer in 1928. Then there was Bhagat Singh. He was another Indian revolutionary and the founding member of the HRA. where he met several prominent revolutionaries like Sukhdev Rajguru and Chandrashekhar Azad Bhagat Singh and BK Dutt bombed the Central Legislative Assembly in 1929 to avenge the death of Lala Lajpat Rai Sukhdev Thapar and Rajguru were two more revolutionary leaders who were a part of the HRA Both of them adopted revolutionary methods and worked with Bhagat Singh and others to revolt against the British Then we have Jawaharlal Nehru. He was the first Prime Minister of Independent India 
He joined the freedom struggle during the non-cooperation movement and later worked closely with Mahatma Gandhi to gain freedom. Now, another important event that took place between 1922 and 1930 was the setting up of the Simon Commission in 1927. The Simon Commission was sent to India to decide India's political future. It was met with opposition across India as it had no Indian representative. Simon Go Back became the motto of the protests and demonstrations all over India. In a protest against the Simon Commission, a very prominent leader Lala Lajpat Rai was severely beaten by the British, which eventually resulted in his death. This enraged other revolutionaries like Rajguru Bhagat Singh and Sukhdev Thapar who decided to avenge his death. Now, let us see what all these events led to. Following these incidents and the growing apathy of the British, the Congress demanded Purna Swaraj or complete independence on 26th January 1930 under the presidency of Jawaharlal Nehru. Purna Swaraj would of course need to be fought for. Over the next few classes, we will look at the different actions that various Indian nationalists undertook to reach this goal. Bye bye and happy learning. So, ये आपके इवेंट्स थे कुछ क्या स्टेप्स लिए गए और लास्ट में पूरन स्वराज आया था and uh, now let us learn about these events in more detail so read the section the happenings of 1922 to 1929 on given page number 119 and 20 of the ncert book you have 5 minutes to do this after that you have to uh, find the question answers okay have a nice day